Hi, it's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. A few, maybe a week ago or so, I did a Timu order unboxing. And one of the items in the order was a kit with three different patterns in it. And it's sort of been on the back burner. Yeah, I should do that. Yeah, I should work on that. Well, Friday night, I have a craft show the next day. I'm trying to finish a big project, but I figured I'll just start. I'll just start one of the items from that. I think the first one I started was the penguin. And I can show you a picture, but I can't show you the actual penguin because it's sold at the craft show. Um, then I made, let's see this one, the little froggy. He's got a price tag on because he, he went to the craft show too, but he didn't sell. He got a lot of attention, but he didn't sell. Made the froggy. Had so much fun with that. But I made another one. Finished him last night. Now, the yarn in the kit is a thinner cotton yarn. It's probably like a two weight or a three weight. And they give you a 2.5 millimeter hook. So that's the size that that comes out. And then this guy is made with like a Karen Simply Soft and a 3.75 hook. Although I probably could have gone down to 3.5 because it's a thinner yarn. So there's the size difference between theirs and worsted weight. Not all that much bigger. Probably if, they, if I used a thicker worsted weight, probably end up more of a difference. But since I made up those two, I can't find him either. But I also made the owl. And I didn't bring it with me. <laughs> Boy. After making all three, I had a bunch of yarn left over. I can put a picture up there. Yarn, stuffing. So I probably could make another frog. But what I'm thinking is I want to make little stingrays with the yarn. So I'm going to do that. So, okay, where am I going to put my frogs? Frogs, you go right there. Things are a mess. When I packed up for the crap, from the craft show yesterday, I just put everything back in the big bags. And one of the things I need to do in the next coming weeks is to go through all my boxes. Like, let's see, what's that box? Oh, no, that's... Okay, this one's pumpkins. There's birds. There's farm and forest. There's octopus, ocean. So I need to sort all the stuff from the big bags into the boxes. So when my Etsy order, Etsy order, when my Etsy shop comes alive again, whenever, I'll be able to find stuff. So what did I think of this? The whole kit? I liked it. I, I, I know I took a little flack from my last video of the Dollar Tree kit where I was not happy with it and someone told me that I had a very critical attitude. Well, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to say, oh, this is the nicest kit ever when they give you really cheap tools that you can't even use and all that. But this one, you know, you got some decent stuff like the crochet hook was a real hook, not some little plastic thing with rough edges that snagged your yarn. They, they give you a good hook and they give you lots of stitch markers and they gave you more than enough safety eyes. They actually sent six safety eyes. I'm trying to get it away from the glare of the ring light, but you only needed four. Um, the one thing I keep saying like the one thing and then there's one more one thing. They did not send backings for the safety eyes. They did not tell you as you were making the item where to put them in. It was all afterwards and they sent a glue stick for you to glue them in. Mm -mm. I have extra backings. I used my own backings and put them in as I was working before I closed things up. I would say that the owl was the easiest of the three. 
Does that come first in the patterns? Um, body. Yes, the owl does come first in the patterns. Then they have the penguin and then the frog. I would say that the owl is the easiest. No color changes, nothing fancy. Just next starts with the magic ring, standard progression, all that. Um, then I would say the frog is the next in level of difficulty. With the frog, the only thing that might bump it up to advanced beginner is the body of the frog and the belly of the frog start with a chain rather than a round. Where you're starting on a chain and going around one side and around the other to make a long oval instead of a circle for your first row. Sometimes that throws people. But once you get that down, it's all just regular old stuff. Then the penguin, the penguin you're dealing with a lot of color changes. And my color changes towards the bottom. Um, this, this doesn't look quite like what I turned out with. Like for this, it looks like the white goes all the way down to the bottom. And mine seem to have more of a, the white ending. And then you could see more blue on the bottom. But the color changes were difficult. So, you know, following the pattern, you've got some increases and decreases worked in with the color changes. So that would probably be considered an intermediate. And I did have to rip out like my last row and reposition the white to make it, I don't know if it was, if, if it was a problem with the pattern, oops, I shouldn't show the pattern. If it was a problem with the pattern or a user issue, like I may have been sort of loosey-goosey about moving up my stitch marker and knowing where my rows began. Just like, okay, the white's supposed to start here. But I'd say that's intermediate because you really have to be careful with your color changes. So I thought it was a good value. I think I got it on sale for like $9.99 for all three patterns. And I already sold the penguin for eight bucks. So I've almost got my $8 back, or my full price back. Um, I will definitely be making more of the frogs. I think the frogs are really cute. The owl, that's very, very similar to other patterns that I've done before. So I will add it to my owl, my owl collection of patterns. I don't think it's gonna become my main pattern. Um, but if you can get one of the three pack kits for $9.99, I'd say yeah, it, it's, it's fun. It's fun to work on a cute little project. And then you've got the pattern for your own use with your own yarn. And it's well written. It, it's clear on what to do. The only thing was for all three patterns, they say, C-O-N-T as F-O-L-L-S. Cont as foals? What? It wasn't until I was working on the second or third one that I was like, oh, continue as follows. Okay. I don't know if that was a senior moment or a blonde moment, as I had two blonde children. I must have some blonde gene in me. But just, I just kept looking at that, trying to figure out what cont as falls. Folds means, okay, can you just follow And another way that I deviated from the pattern for the frog, they want you to join with a slip stitch and then chain one and continue for each row. No, I just kept going round and round and round. So I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be watching for more patterns or more, not more patterns, more kits to go on sale if I have any more Timo orders. I do have some more Timo orders coming up. So I am waiting for my first collab. I 
and getting a Timu order. And then I will be doing lots of reviews of the items in that order. So I'm going to have fun with that. Oh yeah, I'm going to have fun with that. I guess that's it. I just want to get this video in with the review of the book. Because when I do the review of yesterday's show, I will be saying that the penguin's old. And if I don't do this video first, then people will say, penguin? What penguin? Oh, that penguin. Okay. And that way, like, I just got back from church. I'm still in my church clothes. I probably will be doing two videos today. So I'm going to go change into my play clothes. So I'm going to trick all of you by doing two videos in one day, but wearing different clothes. Probably. You have to see if there's the same earrings. I actually wore earrings today. That's it. Yeah. I am going to try to finish up Ankylosaurus today. And I have the leftover yarn from this kit. I think I will be trying to make some little stingrays. See how cute and little they turn out with the thin yarn and the 2.5 meter hook. And in order to get another review done on Timu of the yarn that I got, I'm going to grab one of my... Ooh. Grab one of my bulky... Oh, that doesn't show at all, does it? Let's get it out of the bag so it's not... Of course, I step up. I drop it. There we go. Now you can see the colors. Can't quite see the... There we go. If we get you right up there away from the lamp, it's... It's white with pink, blue, and yellow. So I'm going to make up a few cute little things, maybe a turtle, maybe a stingray, so I can do a review with my Timu order yarn. That's it. Play with yarn. I'm trying to avoid my Sunday nap today. We shall see how that goes. I'm, I haven't been sleeping all that well at night. And I'm hoping if I get myself really tired by not taking a nap today, that I will conk out and sleep really well tonight. So we shall see how that goes. Okay. Make dinner. Play with yarn. Finish projects. Make another video. Busy day. Sunday. Sunday. Bye-bye.